SoFi update for the 19th. So in this video, I'm going to give you two different possibilities for the stock over the next uh, two or three months, basically going into midterms. Midterms are only um, a little bit over two months away, which is pretty crazy. And so I think it really depends on the overall market, whatever they want to do. If they want to bring it down going into midterms, do they want to have a pullback and then run it into midterms? Or do they want to just have a small pullback and then take it higher right away? Those are three scenarios for SPY. So we either have straight down, um, A, B, C, lower, and then go higher, or pull back here and go higher. Three different scenarios for SPY. That's going to really affect SoFi, obviously, um, and what pattern plays out here. But basically on this move right here, one, two, three, four, five, this is actually a diagonal for it to be a five wave move because the fourth wave came back into the first wave. I don't know if I mentioned that on a um, past video. And so I've been playing around with the possibility that this is actually A, B, C, B, and then C right here, higher. And we would actually have a, um, a this is one of, the, one of the possibilities, I guess. And it's kind of coming into play after how far we sold off. Actually, you know what? Let me go over the first part here. Let's go over the chart short term. So we have A, B. Whoops. A, B. And then you can see right here, it obviously goes way outside this parallel line, which you don't really like to see if you're looking for an ABC corrective pattern. Um, it's kind of skewed, though, because SoftBank's selling and they're just, you know, slamming it during this market sell-off, but still you have to uh, just go by the way it looks in the chart. Um, this right here is one, two, three on the one, two, three, and four hour chart. On the 30 minute time frame, you can say it looks like a third wave here and a fourth wave and then one, two, three, four, and one more move lower. I personally think that we're going to either get a bounce to, if you look on the two hour time frame. We're going to get a bounce to 660 to 665 next week and then one more move lower or we're going to bounce to like 640 to 645 and then get one more move lower after that either way i think we're going to hold this support right here which goes all the way down to 602 i don't think we'll break that it just kind of depends on what the overall market does I'm expecting SPY to go maybe 1% uh, lower, but um, I don't think we go that much lower here. It's just, uh, I've just been considering a few different possibilities based on how, how low we went. And so let's go ahead and get into those. Uh, the first possibility is if uh, the overall market, pretty much if it goes down to 418, 420, and then it just goes higher and we go all the way to like 445 or 450 and the dollar sells off to 102 or 103. I would still expect a very big move coming out of SoFi higher to the 1.61 fib of this diagonal five wave move. So I would expect a move up here to about 1055. And to show you what a diagonal is, let me pull that up just so you know what I'm talking about. So, um, so right here, a leading diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, two. Look at this. Exact, exactly what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five. Two comes all the way back almost to the bottom of the second wave. And look at this. We are close to the bottom of the second wave. So that would look exactly like this. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. So that's the first um, possibility for SoFi. We would get a third wave all the way to 1050. And I think on the last video I went over it, 
it would basically top out at like 12.30, something like that. We would get a pretty big move. That would pretty much double from here. So that's the first possibility, a leading diagonal. That's the first possibility. Second possibility is we see um, we have A, B, and then this is just A, B, C, C, and then we got A, B, C, D, and then we would get an E move. This one was on May 20th, then we got August 4th, so about uh, two and a half months later, so we'd be looking at mid-October, so maybe like October 15th, we get a E move. And as you can see, the E move would take us to around $9. However, this is actually a bearish pattern because it's a rising wedge. We have A, B, C, D, E, and then it would sell off. So those are the two different possibilities. The leading diagonal is bullish. The rising wedge is bearish. And I think both of those possibilities are, they're about 50-50 at this point. Um, knowing that we broke this parallel line right here, I think that they're um, equally likely. So we'll have to just see what happens. But again, I'm expecting the dollar to go lower, and I'm expecting SPY to probably go higher as well. So I'm still leaning towards the leading diagonal and the, the narrative that changed when we killed earnings again. Um, this is just like a manufactured sell-off, and they're probably accumulating millions of shares and they're ready to take it higher too um, you know they're colluding with other banks as well and just trying to scare retail out of their positions while we just accumulate more and more shares and keep it going because we know that we're going to go higher either way we're going to be at nine dollars in october or we're going to go higher to ten dollars plus in my opinion I'll be very surprised if for some reason we keep on selling off. That would just be pretty outrageous at this point. So those are the two possibilities I see going into the next couple months and basically going into midterms. Uh, the third possibility, which is not very likely, would only be if SPY continues to sell off. And that would just be we end up um, breaking this low and going to new lows. So I think that's highly unlikely. But these other two possibilities are very likely. So right now, though, for this week, expect like a small bounce and then probably one more low um, next week before we finally do bounce. So that's all I got for today. Um, but next week, we should see a bounce, hopefully by midweek at the latest. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will try to put out another update on Monday, depending on what we do, and uh, let you know which way we're going to go. So uh, have a good weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday.